Replacing a toilet is a job that most DIYers can tackle, but a toilet tank and bowl can be heavy and awkward, and it's a great way to throw out your back. So always lift with your legs or with a friend. Let's get started. First, measure the distance from the wall to the bolts that hold the toilet in place. The standard distance is 12 inches. If yours is not, then ask your retailer about options before buying a new toilet. Okay, now turn off the water to the tank using the valve located near the wall. Then hold down the handle on the tank to let out as much water as possible. Use a sponge to soak up the rest of the water in the tank and bowl. Unscrew the water line from the bottom of the toilet tank, then loosen the nuts holding the tank in place. Make sure to keep a hand on the tank so it doesn't fall. To remove the tank, straddle the bowl so you're square to the tank and hold onto the tank and lift it with your legs. With the tank out of the way, you can remove the bowl. Remove the decorative caps that cover the bolts. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the nuts. Now rock the bowl from side to side until you've broken the seal of the wax ring below the bowl. Then lift with your legs again and remove the bowl to reveal the toilet flange below. Don't be surprised if you smell something. Put a rag in that opening to prevent any sewer gases from coming up. If there's some of the wax ring still remaining on the flange, go ahead and scrape it away with a putty knife to prepare the surface for the new ring. Remove the old bolts. You won't want to reuse those. Now is a good time to clean the floor around the flange in case the footprint of the new toilet is different. Congratulations, you've removed the toilet. Next week, we'll show you how to install the new one.